Welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to perform a break-even analysis using the what if analysis slash data table feature in Excel. Let's begin. So here I have a simple calculation to determine the gross profit of a small business. The revenue is calculated by multiplying the unit price by the number of sold units. The gross profit is calculated by subtracting the fixed and variable costs from the revenue. In the break-even analysis, I would like to find out how many units must I sell and at which price to achieve a certain gross profit. You can of course do that manually by entering data or creating a complex data set with a lot of formulas and formula dragging but this is not the ideal way especially if your formulas are long and complex which is usually the case so to calculate the break-even point list one of the parameters vertically in this case i will list the unit sold vertically and the other one horizontally for the horizontal parameter i will choose the unit price Refer to the formula in the empty cell above the vertically listed parameters and to the left of the horizontal listed parameters. Go to the data tab, what if analysis, and choose the data table feature. In the row input cell, refer to the original cell in the formula where the variable parameters are listed horizontally in a row. In this case, the unit price cell. In the column input cell, refer to the original cell in the formula where the variable parameters are listed vertically in the column of the data table. Press OK. Excel will process the data and show you the results. For a better view, I will apply conditional format. Here you can see which variable combination of assumptions leads you to the break-even point. You can apply as many variables as you like and extend the data in the row or the column. The data is dynamic, meaning if you change one of the variables, the results will update accordingly. To apply that to multiple variables, like fixed cost and unit price, for example, create a second table with other variables and you will have even more results and combinations to, to choose from. I hope you found what you were looking for in this tutorial. If yes, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel for more videos. Check out other Excel video tutorials by Swag Academy in this playlist. Thanks for watching.